What is going on Gulf Coast Nation guys? Welcome back to another episode. Welcome back to the beach. Today we got something a little bit different for you guys. Yes yeah, sir, we're gonna show y'all how we set everything up, why we set it up that way, and what we use to set it up. That's right, come on, yes, let's sir. go. Boom. Here is the old first generation Penn International on a heavy steadfast plank. Built out to nine foot. This is our leader material. We got 1200 pound mono as a shock cord down to double number 19 wire. This one we got an 18 aught sandbar tackle hook. If y'all want to see how we make these leaders, check it out right up here. This one's our medium drop. We dropped around 300, 300, 400 yards. Those big tigers, and over here, you got the Okaya 50 wide. This another black tip reel for like black tips, bull sharks. Drop this one short, just on the other side of the bar. And on this one, this is our short drop for big sharks. Brand new, or I say brand new, brand new to us. It's an Ava 80 narrow TRX, a 5130 rain shadow blank. We got a steadfast coming in soon. Get this one off the beach and head fast back out of here. We drop this one about 150 to 200 yards. And on this one, we have the same exact leader as we do on now. This is our kayak. It's a Scrambler XT Ocean Kayak. Tracks really good, handles big waves very well. By far the best kayak you can get for taking out baits. This is our life jacket. It's got a couple pockets. You can store a whistle, and we keep VHF right there on those so we can have communication if we need to. It keeps you afloat, that's all that matters. This is a cheap little pent and fierce combo, 6,000 size on a nine foot rod for small black tips. You just cast this one and slim it out. We got eight foot, 600 pound mono to about a foot, to a foot and a half, a 19 wire, to a sandbar 16 knot. All right, this is the Avent 130 TRX, on foot, extra heavy steadfast. And then our leader for this one is just the same as the others, except for we got a 24 aught hook on this one. It's a little bit bigger. Carbon steel, not stainless steel. And on all the big reels, we've got 200 pound LP mono by the 25 pound spool. And after every big fish, you gotta replace it. So coming up on the beach a little bit, the first thing we always put up, old glory. You get here, we always set the flag up. We've got a couple steadfast plates coming in, so we'll replace this pretty soon, but this is our backup plate right here. Little Barrett rod plate with the braid play action harness. We just got both of these harnesses in. Braid play action harness. Those, I love this thing. We've used the AFCOs, but we've had some problems in the past with them breaking on us, so these are super comfortable. There's all kinds of adjustments on them and they, uh, they feel really comfy. But the old Barrett P19 right there. So on our table here, this is kind of our organized chaos, if you will. Uh, we got right here, we've got the, uh, the case, our GoPro case. So all the GoPro stay in here, extra batteries, um, chest mount, head mount, all that good stuff. And uh, that's a little waterproof box there we got off Amazon. Uh, I think for like 90, 90 bucks or so. In this bag is all the goodies. We've got flashlight, Headlamps, you guys, this is one of my favorite headlamps is a Browning, little Browning headlamp. It's waterproof and the batteries it takes are CR123s. They're a little bit expensive, but the same, it's completely waterproof so you can put it underneath the water when we're trying to get good video. Um, you can release sharks with it on your head. You don't have to worry about it getting all, all wet. And then we use, you know, you guys know we use the, uh, the hanging lights. So downward clip, go on Amazon and, and search deep drop light. Um, Catch All Tackle sells these one. They're like 16 bucks. And you clip them, take the line, clip them right there, and it, it pinches on the line. These are deep drop lights, so they're good to go in the water. And it uh, helps you watch. You know, sometimes you'll have, uh, you have slack lines where the line drops when a shark comes in with it. These help you keep an eye on your line at night. These are handy. Keep everything in a little bag just in case we need it. Always got to have VHF radios. One stays with your kayaker. One stays on the beach. It's good communication for when you're dropping baits, but also if your kayaker gets stuck in a bad storm like Adam did a couple weeks ago, he can hail to the Coast Guard. Everybody's staying safe. Everybody's coming back home. That's important. Just got my sunglasses and glasses and stuff like that in here. I have contacts, so I got to keep a little a run bag. Um, we've got some knives. We, uh, for our clients, we clean and bag fish for free, so you got to keep a good set of knives. Um, these, these Danco knives are all, 
all right, they're good enough. Uh, they do the job for the beach. If you guys want a good knife, check out Austin Legacy Knives. Cell phone, crack screen. That's how it's gotta go. You cracked my screen. I did not crack it. Yeah, you, you dropped it off Gil's boat, bud. When you open the thing. Oh yeah. Crawl taters, important. We've got the drone bag here. The drone bag is kind of our run bag. Um, we've got the drone in here, the iPad and all that good stuff. We've got our speaker in here, but we keep this backpack in case a storm pops up. Kind of like over there. But we like to keep a backpack on the beach, at least one. So if a storm pops up, we can put everything in the backpack and just get out of here. So. Over here, we keep our chest mount, so when we hook it to a big fish, Adam or whoever our leader man's gonna be can just slide the chest mount on. We've got our good diamond plate, steadfast. We're gonna get another one of these coming in soon with a second braid play action harness. Keeping everything handy right here, we've got our, our LED light bar. Keep the GoPro up top. The reason we do this is so the GoPro can get really good lit, lighted video, all that good stuff, and also, Obviously, your, your person on the leader and when you're handling a shark at night, they stay safe. Got your release bucket. In the release bucket, you have we have our, uh, our D-hooker, pair of bolt cutters, backup pair of bolt cutters, sword light. We keep a big pair of pliers on hand just in case you need them. We've got a tail rope, some gloves, our uh, Noah Shark Tagger. No shark tags. That's that's always the best thing you can do is keep a bucket. And uh, we call it our release bucket. Everything you need to release a shark is right here. That way when you hook up to a big one and mass chaos is going on, somebody can just grab the bucket. You don't have to worry about grabbing individual things and you can't find something in the moment. Just grab the bucket, keep everything in one place. One of the last things here coming over to our cart. Um, you guys know about this cart. If you don't know about the cart and you want more information on this cart, uh, check out the link or the video playing in the top right corner of your screen right here. This is a cart custom made by Mr. Terry. Mr. Terry's done some awesome aluminum work for us in the past and he outdid himself with this cart. Um, like I said, we're having battery issues. So normally we have a little floodlight up here um, that, that kicks on, but we only have one battery tonight because of the battery issues. So we don't have the floodlight tonight. Uh, but basically, we got our kayak wheels for the kayak here. Um, we keep a Sawzall, battery powered Sawzall. All of our bait is pre-caught and frozen. So when you get out here to the beach, it might still be frozen. You just cut right through your bait and be done with it. We've got our Coleman cooler. It's like $52 at Walmart. I think it's the 120 quart. This thing has been with us for like three years. Adam washes it like every night when we get back. And as long as you take care of it, it's been a really good cooler. Um, it's, it's light. So the Yetis and stuff like that are, are nice, but they're really heavy. And uh, it fits in the cart really well. Allows us to keep our table over there in the cart as well. Got all your bait in here. Always freeze your bait um, in bags. That way you don't get freezer burn on them. Then if you come over here, we uh, have a little little Bass Pro. It's called the Offshore Angler bag. And in here, you know, we keep we keep extra hooks in here, um, some some pyramid sinkers and pompano floats and pompano hooks and business cards. Everything's in the waterproof bag. Fish bites. Um, we use zip ties on our leaders. Um, we band our baits like you guys have seen in the past and. Um, Basically just everything in one central location. That way if you need something, you just come to the bag. Like this for our, for our release bucket, we put the bucket here and then put all the extra stuff on the table inside the bucket. Then when we get down here, you know, we keep the, keep the bucket over there, but this is a good towel drying rack. You get one for bait, one for drying off yourself. We keep one surf rod. So when the clients get here, we toss out a surf rod, catch pompano, whiting, redfish. Those are the fish that we'll clean for you guys um, and bag for free. And then we keep one, one rod with the spoon or a little swim bait on here. And then we keep another rod tied up with some snatch hooks just in case we see a stingray or, uh, or some cow nose or mullet moving through. We can snag them for some fresh bait. Super Brellas, they're like 39, 40 bucks at Walmart. When, a, when we have a pop-up storm, <laughs> we, can, we can literally, you just pop them up. They sit half sideways. They have a big thing. They drive into the ground. You can fill the pockets with sand. And that thing has literally, we've, we've sat through some gnarly thunderstorms out here and uh, they pop up quick and they keep you dry or they're good sun shelter. And then uh, we keep a gig out here. Thanks, thanks Cameron for the gig. <laughs> but uh, we keep a gig out here just in case we catch a big ray or we see one in the surf, you know, you can walk out there and uh, you can gig them. Our good luck charm. This is our shark hat. You guys have probably seen in other videos. The kids wear these. <laughs> Woo! 
This is our mascot. This is our good luck thing. You pop this thing on at night, go down to the water, call in your very own shark. Keep a shovel on hand. Everybody to play with. You gotta have a football out on the beach, have some fun with. When you're out here on the beach with Gulf Coast Nation, you guys are fishing. If you guys do your own shark fishing, do any type of beach fishing for, and you're hanging out at the beach for any amount of time, check out Zero Gravity Chairs. You can get two of them for 60 bucks. They're 30 bucks a pop. And uh, these things recline all the way back. You can kick back, relax on the beach. They sit up, they're super comfy. You can sleep in them. Um, you sit back and relax in them. And then we always, for our trips, we always provide soft drinks. So we got the cooler here with some Powerade, root beer, Dr. Pepper, water. So whatever the, whatever the client wants, we bring out to the beach for them, but all right. So basically that's that's our beach setup right there. That's everything on the beach that we have on a on an average day. You know, in the winter, we might bring a little bit more if we're gonna stay longer. Sometimes we bring a grill down here. Um, but for the most part, that's everything we have. Everything that comes down here has a purpose. We don't carry anything extra. 